Hey guys, Trash here, and welcome back to the guild. The first thing that we need to do today is head over to spawn and see what our guild task of the week is. However, before we head to spawn, I have a little something to show you guys that we worked on between episodes, so enjoy. Hey everyone, uh, I was just thinking that maybe with the dragon egg, we could make a cute build over here at spawn and, and have something to decorate it with. What are your thoughts? Ooh, yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. This was fun. This looks beautiful, guys. Good job. Yeah. It does look beautiful. I I, we really did it. Like, we really just, like, yeah. went this it. out. So as you can see, a couple of the girls and I did a little makeover at spawn and set up a nice place for the dragon egg. A little dragon egg shrine, if you will. And I think it turned out absolutely adorable. And I had an absolute blast building with the girls. It was so much fun to build with a bunch of people. I've never actually done that before. And oh my goodness, we made such quick work of it. And I think it turned out adorable. So I hope you guys like it. But let's head over there now and see what we have in store for us this week. All right, so it looks like we are going to have to complete a build it spawn build must be community focused build must also be connected by paths and that sounds easy enough for us to do in fact i already have an idea for what i would like my shop to be as you can see shops are already popping up all around here oh my god look at the bee that is so cute as you can see right here i have trash's shop location all marked out i have a vague idea for what i'm going to do and i'm so excited for you guys to see it but for my shop it will be called trash's treasures and we will be focused on getting all sorts of treasures from around the world and selling them and i think we will also be selling some terracotta so i'm going to go gather up a bunch of that as i know a lot of people on this server like to build with terracotta blocks and i don't think that there is anyone supplying them yet so i'm thinking for trash's treasures we're going to focus on terracotta some sherds from ruins maybe some armor trims a sniffer egg if we're lucky that would be fabulous and also some dyes anything that you can basically find in the ruins but i can also make some more of like dies i think i will be selling that as well it's going to be kind of like a thrift shop boutique trashes treasures experience and i am so excited but this means that we are actually going to have to go and gather up all of these materials so we have a lot of work ahead of us but before we do that i do think we should get a little bit more geared up before we go exploring our tools are looking kind of interesting at the moment and we could do with some better enchantments luckily red has made an enderman farm on the server where we can go get a bunch of levels very fast so i think we should have over there now although i am going to go make a shovel and maybe a hoe and grab my lapis before we head over there i think there's an enchanting table there i don't know i guess we'll find out so i will meet you guys over there Honestly, I would say that that was a very, very successful trip to the Enderman farm. Thank God Red made that. That made everything so much easier. And now we have a fairly good helmet with respiration on it, which is going to be very important if we're looking for drowned temples to do some archaeology at. We have protection for and breaking three and mending diamond leggings. Thank goodness. And we really lucked out with the boots. We've got protection four, feather falling four, depth strider three, unbreaking three, and mending. So these are pretty much my perfect pair of boots. I love them so much. We also have an extra fortune three pick because we don't have mending yet i went to brooke's shop but she is all sold out so we're gonna have to wait for that to come back in stock so it's good to have this backup pick here my bow kind of sucks it's power three flame and unbreaking three it's better than it was but i still don't really have any arrows and i tried to get infinity but no dice this time and we have a good silk touch axe an okay shovel it's got fortune so i'm not psyched about that but at least it has efficiency for an unbreaking and a silk touch diamond hoe which will be great for gathering leaves so overall i am very happy with how that trip turned out but now we've got to get busy gathering things to sell in our shop 
However, before we do that, there is one more thing I need to get done around the base, and that is something that I talked about at the end of last episode, where I was breeding up Madison's cows and sheep. Unfortunately, I think that she killed off all of the ones that I breeded up, so I am back to breeding them up so I can get a couple extras, and then we are going to haul them over here so we can finally have some cows and sheep, so I'm going to work on that project now. Alright guys, well just like that, we have two new little aesthetic lamp posts in our farm and they are only for lighting and they are only for aesthetic lamp posts and there's absolutely nothing else going on here at all. Just lamp posts. That's the only thing I'm seeing. So if you guys are seeing something else, um, I think you're crazy because I just see some lamp posts. But on another note, thank you so much to Madison. I didn't actually ask her if I could take the animals, but I did leave her with a surplus of them. In any case, thanks to her. Okay, now that we've gotten that taken care of, thank goodness, now we can go out and start gathering some materials for our shop. I'm thinking we're definitely gonna go need to find a mesa, and we are going to need to find lots of little ruins to excavate. I'm gonna make a brush, and then let's go off and see if we can find stuff. I do have one shulker box that is empty that I can transfer some stuff in, thank goodness. So let's go see what we can find. Well guys, after excavating an entire trail ruin and then going on quite the adventure after that to find the mesa and collecting so many materials and a bunch of extra goodies too that are always good to have, I think that we have enough materials to at least open our shop. We're definitely going to need to still gather some more, but I think we have a good starting point so let me show you what we're working with. So first of all, in this chest, we found a ton of armor trims to sell, which is very exciting. And we have a ton of different shirts. We got so many different variants that we can sell. We even got some relic music discs. We have some candles and glass that I think I'm going to give away for free in a little freebie box. And then we have a ton of terracotta. We even have a couple of glazed terracottas that I'm working on getting more of. We've got a whole bunch of stacks of bricks that are already made into blocks that I got from the trail ruin. So I think those will be nice to sell. We're starting to get some dyes taken care of and I think I'm going to throw a little bit of a cactus farm up here and expand the hobbit hole up this way so we can start amassing more cactus but with all that gathered it is almost time for us to build our shop there is just one more thing I want to do to prepare and that is getting more diamonds I used a bunch of our diamonds when we were making more tools to get enchanting and I'm running very low, but there are so many shops that I would like to purchase stuff from. And so I think I'm going to do a little bit of diamond mining with my fortune picks and see if we can't amass a little bit of money to go on a little bit of a shopping spree to maybe get some extra materials to help in building our shop. So wish me luck, let's hope I get rich.
Well guys, after just a short while in the mines, we have over a stack of diamonds, so we are much wealthier than we were before I went in there. I got really lucky, and then of course fortune helped so much, oh my goodness. But now that we have all of these riches, I'm going to go to the shop, see if there's any cool building materials I can buy, gather up the rest of the building materials, and let's start building this shop! Ah, I'm so excited, it's my first shop, let's do this! Oh, and I also just wanted to mention that I did find a bunch of gold and a bunch of lapis. The lapis will be definitely very useful for making dyes, and that is amazing. We also found a little bit of iron, but not nearly this much. Just thought I should mention that too. Now let's get building. And just like that, Trash's Treasures is now open for business. I really like how this build turned out. This is not a style that I usually try, but I wanted to try something different. It's built out over the water. I think it's adorable. The footprint's not that big compared to some of the other shops in here, but I really like it. I think all the different colors that I played with are pretty fun. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think as per usual, but let me show you what we are selling in Trash's Treasures. I've got some plain terracotta, brick blocks, a bunch of different dyes that I'm still working on. I did build a cactus farm while I was working on the shop as well, so we are smelting up some green dye now, and hopefully we can also make some lime dye. We got some glazed terracotta going. I'm still working on stocking that up, and then we have some treasures. We have the sherds over here. They're a diamond per sherd, and we have armor trims, which I priced at three diamonds per trim. I don't know what the correct pricing should be, but that seemed pretty reasonable to me, and so our inventory is ready for shopping. And then also, when you go out here this is to hook the customers in get one free gift with purchase and it's a bunch of extra stuff that i pulled out of the ruins i just thought that would be fun you can get a free candle with purchase so yeah like i said let me know what you think but i think trash's treasures is adorable and i am so happy that our first shop is now open now with our shop complete that means we have completed the task for the week i even hooked it up with a path and everything so let's go over to the task board Yep, there we go. We completed a build at spawn. It is community focused and it is also connected to the path. So let's go ahead and put our little block of concrete powder in for the task. A boop. There we go. And let's go out to the sword fountain and see what it bestows upon us this week. Hopefully more diamonds, but I would also not say no to a mending book. So let's see what we get. It's a book. We got a mending book, you guys! We got a mending book! How did I know that was gonna happen? That's insane! Oh my god, okay, well actually we um, definitely really needed that. So you guys can let me know, what should I put this mending book on? Should I put it on my fortune pick that is almost broken? Possibly my chest plate that doesn't have mending on it? I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. I had such a blast this week, but it was also a very long week of resource gathering, getting everything ready for the shop, and then building the shop. But as always, it was so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.